In order to understand what is required from Chopin's etude number four, I need you to do this experiment. Try doing this, patting your head while rubbing your stomach at the same time. It's not as easy as it looks. Do you notice the feeling of your hands operating independent of each other? This is exactly what Bach used in his compositions. Beethoven also used this technique in his compositions. Now, in the fourth etude, we get this switching of hands. Another important part of this etude involves holding notes down while playing a moving passage. Notice how this whole section is holding down one note while the chromatic section is played. What is the correct tempo for this piece? Chopin didn't really leave any metronome markings on his etudes. It is open to interpretation. It is marked presto, which is quite fast. However, it is my opinion that it should not be played so fast that quarter notes sound like eighth notes. Also, this etude has a specific articulation. What is articulation in music? Just like in speech, you have to enunciate your words, so in music, different phrasing creates different articulation. Here are two examples of articulation using this etude. Let's play a super legato etude. Now, let's contrast that with a legato with a very clean articulation. Quite a difference. In human speech, we adapt our articulation to the circumstances as well. Imagine making a specific order at Starbucks. You would use specific language with a very clear articulation, saying something like, I'll take a grande mocha java latte espresso cappuccino half decaf, half regular. So as the question regarding the tempo, how fast should we play Chopin's etude number four? The answer is as fast as you can get a clean articulation with plenty of dynamics. <laughs>